Hey guys, in this tutorial you will learn how to create Kufic calligraphy, in other words square calligraphy art. Kufic basically refers to geometrically rendered calligraphy works using Arabic letters as actual design elements. It is one of the oldest calligraphic form. This Kufic calligraphy was first seen in the 7th century in Kufa region in Iraq. Look at these beautiful artworks using Kufic style. The square calligraphy can be made using any language, it is basically very famous in Arabic. That's one of the reason I have used Kufic style to make this wonderful artwork. Look at these 99 names of God. I have created this contemporary artwork using Kufic style. I will explain you how quickly you can do this inside the Adobe Illustrator. Doesn't matter any platform or even you can use the pen and paper to create the handmade ones using this technique. If you would like to see this artwork in detail or grab it, I will leave a link in the description below. Let's begin. I have this template for Arabic letters. I don't speak Arabic, but I have a strong understanding of Arabic alphabets in general. So if you look at this template, it has different combinations for each letter. You can use it to rotate or modify to create the artwork. Look at this template. You have Arabic letters on this side. So all of these are Arabic letters and these are the Kufic style created for the same letter. So if you look at this letter, this has different variations of the first letter. These are the different variations. So let's say if you look at this letter, so these are the different variations. So same for this and same for this. So it's basically this is the idea. Look at this word and this is what we wanted to fit it in the square. So basically let's split this into two portions. So this particular portion we will try to wrap it on top of this portion. So let me draw a square. Let's try to understand how many rows and columns we would require. So let's look at the first letter. That's this one. So that's one row, sorry one column. And the second letter we will pick this style. So we'll put that here. Third one, that is this one. So we'll pick this style. So I'm trying to understand how many rows and columns we require. So don't worry about the actual design of it. And this is the same letter. Let's put it here. And let's pick this one. Okay, let's put it here. I'm trying to wrap around to make it as a square. The entire word. The last one. That's this one. Okay, let's try to wrap it around here. So basically that's the idea. So let's count number of rows. So the first one is this one and that will be a gap and there will be the fourth one will also have that. So there will be four columns required. So the second letter is basically two, two columns and this will require three. And the last one we would require it's the same letter but there will be a gap so we will require four so basically we will require 13 columns so this means we need to do the whole thing in 13 by 13 square let's draw a square select it go to object go to path split into grid 13 number of rows 30 number of columns preview it okay now select all of them go to the shape builder tool pick the color Okay, let's draw the first one. That's done. Okay, the second one, leave a gap and create a shape. And the third letter, basically, it is actually five rows and three columns. One, two, three, four, five, and three columns. So let's let's create a shape within this. Okay, pick from here and do this yes now complete it and the fourth letter is towards the end so let's put it here now we extend the third letter all the way till here and wrap it around now this letter is basically three rows so pick from here and pick from here so it has a little extension so let it extend it all the way till this line that's it and complete it there now this is again the same letter so it will be a wrapping around kind of a feel so it, we need to pick it up from here so let's pick from here and go all the way and wrap it around so it's again an open end so pick from here come back and close it that's it now select these created shape and delete the unwanted one 
that's it now you can go ahead and beautify whatever you want so if you want to switch off the stroke and so on and you can do that that's it so let's look at this second uh, example again two portions of the word first one and then we'll put the second one wrap around the first letter goes here second letter is this third letter is this and fourth letter is this and the fifth letter is this so let's go ahead and create square okay select the square go to the object path split into grid put 13 grids by 13 grids now select all of them go to the shape builder pick the color okay the first letter goes here second letter this and the third letter is a bit tricky it has a dot at the bottom so we have to pick so if you try to put here then the dot will come out so we need to put the dot within that square so let's pick one of the square okay let's pick this one okay then leave one gap okay and draw the shape yes and extend here and connect it here so it created this that letter with a dot in the base bottom okay then this letter and this letter has to wrap around so let's finish the last letter first so it is basically an extended portion so we will start to extend it from here okay and then so let's do it all the way till here and then it is that line is done then now we need to do this line okay yes so the last letter is done now we need to create the fourth letter which is this one so we start from here so it needs to be it's very simple just do this and then come back and connect it that's it so select the created art delete the unwanted one so this is the idea so basically you need to understand the overall shape of the letter and try to figure out how to wrap around and put them within the square so with the same idea i have done this 99 squares and put 99 names of the god within that square so that's it so i have created like this for the entire artwork one by one to do this entire artwork i would really appreciate if you could have a look at the artwork which is on my on my website and have a look at them and if you could write a review uh, that really matters to me that's it for now guys i hope this was very helpful if you like this video i would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that would give me a motivation to do more videos and if you specifically want to know any trick kindly do let me know in the comments below i will try my best to make a video thanks for watching